So do you think your website is ignored by Google and your website page is not getting indexed to search engine? And you did everything, you write real nice blog posts, everything is fine, there's no issue with the website, but still you think website page are not getting indexed. It is possible that you have crawl issues on your website. Yes, it is possible. Not always only big website face this issue. Small website can also face the crawl issues. So in this video, we're gonna understand three very important things. First, what is crawl budget? Second, how to identify if there's some crawl issues on your website and how to fix them. And third, how to optimize the crawl budget to maximum so that Google bots spend maximum time in indexing your website pages on search engine because if you can utilize the maximum crawl budget, so your website pages will be indexed much faster. Okay, so let's start first with understanding what is crawl budget. Okay, so you know Google is a big search engine and it scans billions of web pages every day. In the end of the day, Google is a machine and it has its own limitation. So it cannot give unlimited time for your website to crawl all the pages and index them on search engine. And if you change anything on your website, it's not gonna come back on your website every day five times and register those changes and make changes in a database. So what Google does, Google assign a crawl budget for every website. Depending on your website, how popular it is, how big it is, how small it is, Google might give some time to your website. So for example, Google will come to your website, it give five minutes every day to your website. And then whatever changes are there, Google gonna mark those changes and Google gonna update the database and the search results for your website. And what happens if you have some crawl issues and Google is not able to finish it works within those five minutes, then what Google will do, Google will not index those pages. And every time if Google come to your website and Google find this kind of crawl issues, what Google will say, okay, you are spoiling all the crawl budget I'm giving to you. So we're not gonna index your website pages anymore on Google. And it is true for all search engines. If you have this crawl issues on your website, these search engines will stop indexing your website pages on Google search results or any other search result on their respective search engine pages. But the good part is Google created the tool to know how you can know these crawl issues so that your crawl budget don't get wasted. So you need to log into your search console account and then scroll the page and click here on settings. Here in crawling, you see crawl stats and then you need to click on open report. And then you can see total request, total download size, every response time. You do not need to worry about this thing. The thing you need to worry about is here, host status. You can see here, if it is dark green like this, it means you have no issues. And even it is like not dark green, light green status, that means it's also fine. You had some issues, but they're not so serious issues. And Google has no problem with your website. Google is giving nice crawl budget to your website and everything is working fine. If you click on this report, you can see there can be three common issues while Google bot is crawling your website. First issue can be robots.txt fetch. So when Google come to your website, the first thing it does, it checks the robots.txt file. I created a complete video about it. I'll add the link in the description. Very, very information videos. And that's one of the best video on my channel. So after watching this video, you should check that video. Second can be DNS resolution. If Google can access your website DNS. Third is server connectivity. If Google can connect your website server or not. If all these things are green in your search console, you can skip this part and go to this part of this video where I will explain how to optimize the crawl budget and have the maximum benefit of the crawl budget assigned by Google to your website. If in your Google search console, you see a red mark like this host status, which means you have crawl issues on your website that need to be addressed. So when you click on this page here, you will see again here, what is the issue? If the issue is robots.txt file or DNS of the website or server connectivity. And these are the issue with last 90 days. You can see here, this is completely dark green. So there was no issue with DNS resolution on this website in last 90 days. You can see server connectivity, there was some issue, but that was not critical. Google still accept and respect our website crawling. You can see acceptable failure recently, but high in the past. If you just click on this option, you can see when this issue happened on the website. So you can see here on this date, failed crawl request is 7.9%. On this day, it was 70% almost. So this is because server connectivity. Server connectivity issue can happen because of using poor hosting. And a lot of bloggers, they use cheap hosting or free hosting for their blogs. And that becomes a big issue because when Google bots come to crawl your website, because the hosting is so bad, it cannot connect to the website. And Google bot cannot scan the website pages. So Google bots say, okay, there's no meaning of scanning the website because it is down. It is not completely down, but yes, Google is not getting proper response from your website because of the bad hosting. So guys, if you're using cheap hosting, I highly recommend you upgrade to a better hosting right now, today. I'll add my recommend hosting in the description of this video. So make sure to check out those description if you want to have the best SEO of your website and you do not want to have server connectivity issues. 
And also if you have basic blog, you don't need like really expensive hosting. I will also add in the description of this video that if you have 1000 views every day or 10,000 views or 100,000 views every day, which hosting do you need and what should be the server size of your website. So make sure to check the description of this video. Okay, this was about server connectivity. So this is mostly happens because of the poor hosting. It is also possible that this happens because there are some issues on your website, some critical errors on your website. And that's totally a different topic. I already created so many videos about it. So this is the common issue why you have server connectivity issues. There can be other issues also, but we're not going to talk about those issues. They're not very common. If you see any issue here with DNS resolution, it is because Google bot try to access the DNS website, but it cannot. So in that case, what you can do, you can switch to Cloudflare. It's a free DNS and very fast DNS. I created a video about it. I'm also gonna add the link in the description. So you can see how you can move your DNS to Cloudflare. It is completely free. And even it makes the website faster when you host your website DNS on Cloudflare. The robots.txt fetch, this is gonna be the most common issue. You can see if I click here, the Google bot tried to access the website and here failed crawl request 100%. So Google bot was not able to find the robots.txt file. So guys, make sure you have a valid robots.txt file on your website. And again, like I told you, create a complete video about it. So to solve the issue, make sure you create a valid robots.txt file. And depending on your website, if you have WordPress website, Shopify website, Webflow, Wix, blog website, you should have a special robots.txt file. So this was the part, if you have crawl issues on your website, how we can know them and how we can fix them. Let's go to the part how to optimize the crawl budget of your website. So Google bot spend maximum time doing good things on your website and index your pages quickly on search engine. And guys, if you're still watching this video, I'll appreciate if you can destroy the like button and gently press the subscribe button. That really helps the channel grow and this video takes a lot of time to create. So whenever you like the video, subscribe to the channel. That make me understand that you guys like my video and you guys are learning something new from my channel. Okay, let's go back to the video. How to optimize the crawl budget of your website. So first thing you need to check, there are not many errors on your website. So you can go to search engine console and then you can go to pages here, indexing. And then you can see I have so many errors here. So make sure guys you have minimum errors here because what happens when you have so many errors, Google bot comes to your website and every time it faces the same error and Google say, okay, this website is not making any changes on the website. And every time I'm spending a lot of crawl budget and again facing all this error. So make sure you don't have these errors on your website, work on these. I create video on almost all these issues, how you can solve these issues. So you can check these issues on your website and make sure you solve them. Second thing to optimize crawl behavior, website speed. Guys, please make sure you use a cache plugin, nice cache plugin without any errors so that your website is fast. So when a Google access your website, the pages are served quickly to Google and Google can render the pages and make sure these pages are visible and good to users when they are presented in a search result. So guys, make sure your website is fast, use a cache plugin. There are so many cache plugins for WordPress. If you have a custom website, a different website, make sure your cache mechanism in the place and you're using optimized images on your website. No matter what kind of website you have, make sure you use WebP images and they're optimized. They're not like huge, crazy 50 MB images taken by your professional camera or something. Make sure you're using optimized images so that website speed is fast and that will really make big change on the crawling budget of the website. The next tip to optimize crawl budget would be to submit your website sitemap on Google Search Console. You can go to Google Search Console account and then click here on sitemaps and make sure there is sitemap added here. If you do not have a sitemap, make sure you add the website sitemap here. I have a complete video on sitemap. Again, I will add the link in description. You can check that video. Because when you write sitemap of your website added to Search Console, Google will know which pages they need to index. So that will save a lot of crawl budget and Google will go first to those pages and index them. And that's really important guys that you have valid sitemap of your website added on Search Console. This is really, really important. I cannot emphasize enough on this point that why you should add the correct sitemap of your website on Search Console. And make sure there's no error in the sitemap. The next tip would be to have a right robots.txt file. Guys, it is really important to have right robots.txt file. So what happened in robots.txt file, you give instruction to robot that please do not access these pages on your website because these pages, they are security pages, they are login pages, they are checkout pages. And we don't want these pages to be indexed on Google. And you need to see here, what is this amazing thing happening here? The first thing, what happens when a bot comes to your website, it accesses robots.txt file. And then we are giving instruction, we are disallowing all these pages and we are telling Google, do not waste your time on these pages. They are not important. And then we define the sitemap of the website. And we are saying to Googlebot, now go to the sitemap and index these pages and, and spend the crawl budget only on these pages. And by doing this, you can have maximum benefit of your crawl budget. The next tip would be, please update your content regularly. 
Guys, if you have written a blog post like three years ago, if Googlebot come every time on the blog post and it says post is not updated, it's not relevant anymore because the post was written three years ago, Googlebot will say this is not getting updated. There is no point of indexing this post on search engine. So I recommend you please try to update blog post time to time. I'm not saying you update them all the time, every month make some changes, but yes, every few months make some changes, maybe add a new image, add one new title or heading, I don't know, description, anything you can change, anything on this blog post. Let me in comments, if you have some crawl issues on your website, I will tell you how we can solve them. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that. That really helps the channel to grow and I will understand you guys are liking the videos. And if you want to watch the useful video on robots.txt, Check this video on screen.